Hello guys, my name is Dr. Shabani. Welcome to Lockdown Studies. Guys, today we're just going to do a few examples of rheumatics using a fluid seal. So, I'm just going to quickly go through the example. So, we have the first example. Uh, let me let me fix it. Okay. So, now yeah, I'm going to uh, read it to you. The machine, pay, the machine head of a physician precision grinder needs to continuously reciprocate over the cylinder head surface being finished. The speed of the stroke must be controlled in both directions. So now let's quickly uh, grab some useful words. The machine head. So the machine head, guys, is just like our, <coughs> our actuator. The machine head. We don't care if it's the head of a, uh, a precision grinder or whatever, but the machine head is the one that's going to be reciprocating that means it's the one that is going to be moving back and forth the machine head is representing our our ceiling i mean our our, our actuator or it's going to be attached to the actuator or whatever i don't know but it's representing our actuator and it's going to be moving back and forth so the actuator is going to be push, 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 it's gonna be moving back and forth continuously okay so now we're gonna highlight all those uh important uh words or terms over SDN. we don't care where it's gonna be uh, guys don't pay attention to that they try to confuse you we don't care where it's gonna be uh reciprocating what we know is that it's gonna be reciprocating that's that that's what matters right now okay if it's gonna be reciprocating on top of a table it's gonna be over a city that we don't care it's gonna be reciprocating okay now don't pay attention to that because if they, they even uh put a word city in it that's gonna confuse you a lot city in the head surface being finished what is being finished you know and then it's gonna confuse you just right now what you need is that it's gonna be reciprocating continuously okay and then the speed of the stroke must be controlled in both directions so now it is gonna be moving back and forth the speed in, in both directions must be controlled. So say I wanted to go forward with uh, 15 minute, minutes, meters per second, and then when it returns to the uh, to the resting point, it must come with, uh, say, five, minute, 5 meters per second. So that's going to be then something like that, you see? So then the speed must be controlled in both directions. So now that gives us the clear picture or that's that that makes makes uh, that makes it easy for us to know which type of a, of a cylinder we have to use because remember okay i'm just gonna have to start over new right remember we have two types of cylinder okay we have a single acting cylinder and a double acting cylinder and we have to control the speed of uh ex ex extract i mean the speed of extension and the speed of retraction we have to control both speed in both direction remember but right here at the i don't think you can control speed of retraction you can only control speed of ext uh, extension why because it retracts it, it it retracts i'm sorry guys it retracts it retracts uh due to force of of the spring so which means it, the speed it is like a constant speed you can't change it because the uh, the retraction is caused by the spring you cannot change the speed at which it uh retract it but you can change the speed at which at, 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 at which it uh extend because it's going to be controlled by the flow of air from the source so now we can change the, uh, the air flow rate so that it's going to or fast or slow depending on which speed you want it to go with or to, to travel it so now but here we can control speed because say okay i want uh, the pressure to be 50 percent i'm saying here yeah, then it's gonna and then 20 percent then it's gonna you see you can control speed in both directions then now we know which one to use and then we did it you see that thank god we have just two options and then we know when it's not this one it's obvious it's this one so we're just gonna use this guy and again we need to have power supply 
I mean uh, air supply and then air service don't forget to put your air service and then it rotates 90 degrees now you can just connect it easy there you go <coughs> so again we need something to do the back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth so now guys what comes uh to my mind is that since this guy is going to be continuously uh facing but you don't need a human being to press a button or push a button they didn't say anything like that there's nothing uh that involves pushing a button or pressing a button it's going to be doing that on its own it's going to be going back and forth in its own it's going to be doing that uh automatically so now guys let's go back to an electric circuit say you have an electric circuit and then <coughs> You have uh I'm just gonna make an example. You you have what is that? What is that? A solenoid? Okay. Say 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 okay, just say you have a stepper mo a, a servo motor. You have a servo motor, then it says 90 degrees, zero, 90 degrees, zero, 90 degrees, zero, 90 degrees. If you plug it and then you leave it like that, it says 90 degrees, zero, 90 degrees, zero, and then you don't press anything. It means you have a sensor that's gonna sense waves at zero and then at 90 degrees and then give it an instruction say okay now at zero position go to 90 and then when it, when it reaches 90 there's a sensor again that's gonna say go back to, which means everything we will need a human effort it's gonna be doing everything on its own so we're gonna have everything is done that is that everything is taking place is controlled by electricity Right here, everything that's going to be taking place must be controlled by pneumatics. So we don't need valves that are mechanically operated. We need valves that are mechanically operated, but they must be attached to this guy. X is a sensor. So now we need a sensor that's going to sense. Since they said, okay, since they said it must go back and forth. This is your, this is your, uh, look at this pen. So this pen is actually your shaft of your of your of your actuator of your cylinder and then it's gonna push, 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 push. so if now i have a sensor here that's gonna say push. now it has reached its end and then uh gives out an instruction says uh re retract and then you retract when it gets the resting point and then we have another sensor that says now you are at the rest uh, resting point extend and then extend which means you might have two sensors that's going to be able to sense if it is at a uh, resting point or the end point now what you're going to do you're going to introduce something new it's called a roller lever a roller lever so now guys this is your roller lever we take your roller lever you say i want it when it's at a resting point so a roller lever is something like this if you see it uh the real one just gonna read it 90 degrees it's something like that and then it's gonna be placed right here at the resting point and then again you're gonna have another one <coughs> you're gonna have another one placed at the end point you see now this one says if this guy is right here resting here it's actually resting on the valve and the valve is actuated when it extends it extends to the next valve and then it's gonna be actuated as well you see so now it's right here it's resting on the valve and then the valve is actuated which means air is flowing through here because this one is actuated this guy is resting on the valve so nobody is pressing the person the person is pressed by the shaft the shaft is resting on the valve now when it extends it's gonna rest on this one as well you see so now you do that when you do it in, uh practically when you have the real parts and stuff right here you don't need to do that what you can do you just have to name it say i have this point this point a the resting point is point a you go here to this blue dot double click you label it say i'm gonna have my point a 
6.8 say okay and now go to wanna place your point a right here right so you wanna place my point a you have your parameters never mind the parameter go to the actuating levels say i wanna place a okay where we wanna place your a i wanna place my a <coughs> to this point from zero where it's resting straight to 50 into the median so it's resting right here and then it must be in contact with uh with a the, the, the valve a up until it's in it is it, right here uh it has extracted 50 percent of its length okay so now we say okay there you go then you say okay now you have your a so this is your a it's right there you see now a and a you don't have to drag it and put it there no just give it a name and then come to this one say and then give it a name say this is point b okay where you apply, where you want to place the point b you come here click again say now i have another one which is called b the level b not the parameters are showing level b then it's gonna start from 50 to 100 now you must be wondering where i'm taking this uh where did i get all these 1500s and zeros this is your uh the lens this is your sharp lens so this is the lens of your shaft it's actually from zero to 100 millimeter zero to 100 millimeter so now zero is like the resting point uh 100 is the end point so from zero to 50 it must activate it must uh, must be in contact with this guy and then from 50 to 100 it must be in contact with this uh, actuator so then press ok now you have your sensors you will treat them as a sensor but they are no sensors so now A and B is just there so now the reason A is like this is because it, it is at its resting point so this is why you see these guys sketches this is the resting point from zero resting point this is, this is where it, it actually starts so <clears throat> i need to give them power okay i can have them i can even rotate them back okay now they're fine rotate it again yeah they can build this and then give them power there you go so now i need something that's gonna provide Air that's gonna supply air to this guy, and I cannot take air from this from these guys. I can, but I don't think it's a good thing to take air from that's passing through the through, through the valves. I must have air straight from this point to that one, which means I'm gonna need a five-way valve. But now the mechanical, but that one is gonna be controlled by these ones, which means I'm gonna need a pneumatically operated one. But now a five wave up pneumatical operated one. See this one. But let me check this one out. This one has a springs. Ah no, not this one. There it. So this is the one I need. And then on this side, I put this one. On this side, I put this one. And then I have my inlet here this is where i'm gonna put air so now air is supplied straight from the service straight straight here and then from here straight there when you press it it's gonna be flowing through the side see i have something like this but remember we have to control the speed as well i said the speed must be controlled in both directions which means you can't uh connect these two guys you have to delete them and then now we need air flow control where is it there is flow control valves and then you click on it you find the one way because the forward uh the forward direction and the backward direction and then you can rotate it and it degrees there you go this one is where and it degrees there you go so now let me zoom it in Air that's only for flowing forward can be controlled the air rate can be controlled that means the speed can be controlled as well 
the air rate that's flowing and air is flowing uh, forward can be controlled. That means the speed of, of uh, retracting can be controlled as well. Did you connect? You connect. I explained this guy to you last time how it works. This ball will prevent air uh, from flowing through this side, which means it's gonna be forced to flow through this narrow, uh, narrow thing. The one that you can control. This is, this means you see this air. It means you can, you can uh, control air flow through there. But when it, when air is receding back, it's gonna flow through here, and then it's gonna, which means it's not gonna be uh, controlled. Okay, let's go back now. We have our circuit. Again, let me make it small. Now maybe I can just take this one down. This one as well. That one. This one also. There you go. Okay, that looks terrible. I'm sorry, ah, I messed up the lines. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, guys. So we have our system right here. Now we have to, we have to, like, this guy must go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, non-stop. Press play. Say okay. Okay. It has to go uh, back and forth. So where is the problem? Where is the problem? Where is the problem? That's point B. What about point A? Something is wrong with point A. Guys, we might have a problem. So A is flowing through the side. But not flowing this side. Okay, let's go check here. Point A is 0 to 50. Point B, okay, say 100, 100. And then play. That's fine. That's fine. Now, what's preventing it from flowing back? Because now A is flowing through the side, and then it goes straight to A. Okay, this is supposed to be B. Say, say this is A. This must be A. And then that must be B. So we twisted our thing. Say play. Okay. Okay. It's going back and forth. Okay. You see. So the mistake that I made was, so let me tell you the mistake that I made, let me tell you this first. <coughs> so the mistake that I made, I said this is B, and then I, I was supposed to say this is A, because now this is where it is, it, it is at its resting point, which means this one, when it's resting, it must allow air to flow through the side then it's gonna push uh, this uh, valve to the other side so that it allows air to pass through here and then it pushes forward when it's at B and then now air will be flowing through the side see so I'll swipe them around I'm sorry about that so now let us change the speed remember I said we have to uh, work with the speed as well so this is where you change the speed. It's going back and forth with the same speed and the same speed. So now, say I want the speed to be uh, lower when on, on, on the uh, forward movement. Say okay, and then 
this is your opening level so you want the valve to open up uh say 15 percent of its original uh whatever thing now look at that look at that so now air flowing through the side is gonna be uh that there will be less pressure which means the speed is gonna flow with a lower speed see it's moving with a low speed but now when you retract it's moving with a high speed see it's moving so slow and then start fast move and then fast back slowly and then it goes fast when it uh, goes to the resting point so guys that's it for today thank you thank you uh, i hope you find this tutorial useful if you uh need something you know you can contact me and then i'll help you thank you so let's stop our simulation stop the recording